The 2015 season is upon us here at the Bakersfield Speedway. Low Budget TV is back. And Tommy, joining right next to me, I know you're excited for this one. Absolutely. This is the only night of the season that you get to see these cars shiny and beautiful. Because from this point on, as soon as the green flag flies, it's all going to be for the championship, Jeffrey. American Stocks are the first heat race of the season out here at Bakersfield Speedway, and the American Stocks one division to always put on a great show. Tommy, you talk about American Stocks, but what a stacked night we have here tonight to kick off opening night at Bakersfield Speedway for the 70th season here at this dirt track. Some amazing history behind it, and I know Low Budge TV, we're closing in on our 70th year as well. Oh, absolutely, uh, minus 70. <laughs> Mine is like, what, 60? Something like that. Uh, 59. Well, we see the uh, car is on track. Let's go through the starting lineup. On the pole, the number 99, Don Mead. On two is outside the number 44 machine, last year's champion, Brian Childress. In the second row, we also have the number three of Brandon Ratcliffe. And, Tommy, you may recognize the number 14 machine. I recognize the car, but not the colors. Yeah, well, that's because we have who driving that thing? Mark Irwin and Mike Hill Jr.'s American soccer looks like. The number nine, Charles Morrison, and to his outside is the number 57, 57 machine. machine. And the last time we saw the 57 car, that thing was being piloted by Jeb Bailey. And guess who's driving it tonight? Jeb Burton. Correct. Jeb Bailey, back in action here at Bakersfield Speedway. We haven't seen him racing out here in a long time. Oh, welcome back. The 2015 season. Tommy, we're at that final point. The offseason's about to be gone. Yep. We're in the final seconds. How was your off season? Short. Yeah. How was yours? <laughs> what was there one? <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. So the field at the ready, creeping and crawling down the backstretch. The moment we've all been waiting for. Turn up the volume. We go green. American stock key race number one. And there go the nice shiny fenders. Battle for the lead early. Brackliffe. Brandon Ratcliffe looking down low, was for the lead, now duking it out for second spot with Brian Childress. Meade with an early lead, he's gonna pull away a couple car lengths. Childress gonna close right back into his rear bumper. These cars are driving pretty. Or as pretty as they're going to, yeah. Now Tommy, this track had a lot of work on it over the off season. We heard about a bunch of clay coming in. Brand new clay, look at the walls, they're all nice and shiny. This track has oh. gone through yeah. quite the maintenance period. You want to talk about something that won't look the same by the end of the night, look at the walls. Yeah, absolutely. Brian Childress, defending champion in the American Stocks, looking for a way around Meade. You saw him power through turns number three and four, but now he's up in the rough stuff. Yeah, two distinctly different lines, but I think Childress didn't get the runoff of turn number two that he was looking for in that 44 car. But you see Meade was kind of running that lower line through turns one and two. Childress is going to slip up and almost catch the wall on the four. Battle for the seconds, but I'm kind of looking in the back. Looks like there could be some troubles for the 57 of Bailey as well as the 14 of Irwin. Those two drivers aren't driving up near this front pack at all. Battle for the second spot. Radcliffe slides up. Childress has no choice but to do it as well. They both clear turn number two. Radcliffe with second spot. And Don Mead continues the lead. You see that 99 checking out. Childress's car does not like the exit of turn two, and it's no. killing him in this heat race. Morrison now starting to close yeah. in from behind for the third position. Morrison with that charge. Meade out front and looking in his mirror saying, well, I guess I showed up for practice today. Now, there's a couple things, Tommy. You mentioned how the 57, or not, uh, yeah, excuse me, the 57 machine kind of hanging back a little bit. But the 14, Mark Irwin, who is a regular out here, he got in a pretty big wreck last year at near the end of the season. Now he's borrowing a car from someone that we know. Yeah, Michael Jr., uh, driver of the number 59 American Stock, uh, not tonight, uh, but also the number 59 Hobby Stock. So it uh, looks like he graciously lended the uh, now 14th car over to the Irwin family to run until they get their car squared away. So I wonder for Irwin, though, if it's a matter of him, as the white flag is out for Don Mead, if it's a matter of him taking more extra care of that car or if he's just filling it out right now. You see Don Mead going through turns three and four. He's going to exit turn number four. The first heat race winner of 2015 goes 
to the American stock number 99 of Don Mead. Back to the finishing second and third. The not handling well, number 44, Brian Childress. Sub tells me they're gonna spin some nuts, dialing that thing in for the main event. Getting ready for heat race number two, the 33 machine. A couple cars that you may not recognize if you're used to watching heat races with low budget TV here at Bakersfield Speedway. Uh, but right before we get through this lineup, I want to mention, folks, you have the opportunity to see a lot of races this year not tape delayed with low budget TV at the Bakersfield Speedway. Yeah, live on Race Feed X. Used to be XN, now Race Feed X. So you get to tune into us live. Starting from this weekend on, out in the pole, the number 33, that is Jeremy Watts. To his outside, the number 17 of Tracy Childress. Then we got the 24 car starting in third. That'll be driven by... Ooh, contact at the beginning of this one. It's starting already. Bryce Lynch in the 24, Cody Johnson the 11, the 38 machine driven oh boy. by Tyler Sylvester. Look at this battle for the second spot. <laughs> oh, boy. You can see the track a bit greasy, especially by the front end of Watts. Not oh, here turn. we go. Four wide. A lot of new faces in this race, Tommy. We knew these E-races were going to be fun. <laughs> there go the door. There goes the quarter panel. They're going to tell him to go hit the pace car at this point. That 33 car... Maybe entering a little hot into turn number three, Tommy, because you just see that car go straight through the center of the turn. Yeah, those tires are screaming for grip, turning left, not going It's anywhere. not going. <laughs> it's not going at all. American socks, they're not made to handle well. They're literally made for the road. Yeah, for groceries. So we got a battle between Watts and Lynch. These two racing hard. Watts car just not turning, and looks like Lynch might have it. Into turn number one, we'll see. This is where the 33 washes up. No, he hangs out on the outside, so maybe that outside groove is helping him. Much better lane. Looked like he kind of used the bit of cushion that worked up during our hot lap, but he's going to throw it in harder. He's going to slide up, but it's working for him right now. The 24 machine back to the inside and can clear it out of turn number four. Buddy Johnson in 11 battling Tyler Sylvester. They make contact <laughs> into turn number one. Are we surprised? Because I don't think we're surprised. No, not at all. Boy, almost more contact. The 11 machine almost up into the wall through turns three and four. Cody Johnson holds on to it once again. And we're three wide in the middle of the 38 machine. Some contact down the back straightaway. These cars are all over the place here. You see the 33 watts smoking. <laughs> three wide and turns number three and four. Boy, that could be a tire of it looks like Tommy in the right rear. Would not surprise me one bit. Johnson still looking to that inside. And the 11 machine. Oh, they're running out of real estate. Oh, Watts again up the oh, in the wall. That one's good. Oh, and then Johnson. Johnson holds on to it. He did a great job of keeping that 11 V off the wall. Tracy Childers out of turn number four. Almost lapped the field. <laughs> With the checkered flag. 27 machine gonna lead us away. Tracy Childress, heat race number three. Starting to the inside of the 22 of Kevin Johnston. The number Tara 10 machine. Childers. Come on now. What did I say? Tracy. I said Tracy. She you're just won. You're thinking. She just won. So Tara Childress leads the field to the green. 22K, Kevin Johnston. Trevor Baker in the 10. And we have the 86. Waters, Mike Waters returning to us. 21 RRR, Roger Welch. And then the number one N, it is Nicholas Johnson. And contact out of turn number four. So how about Nicholas oh, Johnson more getting contact. in? An American stock, Jeffrey. You used oh. to see him racing many dwarfs. Soon, uh, soon we're going to have a whole heat race of just Johnsons. Yep. We're, we're just about leading that way right now. Cody Johnson had a wild one himself. Nicholas Johnson, that thing must be handling just like his mini dwarf because he's yeah. picking this stuff up. I tell you what, what I saw in that last corner, Waters nearly got airborne in turn number three. Looks like there could be a bit of a rut forming. Let's take a look into turn three now. Take a look at the center groove. 
And yeah, you see the car is actually starting to hit a bump. Yeah, it kind of caught the 27 car while we were watching that time through turns three and four. Mike Waters, Tom, you talk about a car that really picked it up at the end of 2014. That 86 car was in the lead. How about picking it up? Battle for the lead. Nicholas Johnson to the inside of Kevin Johnston. It's Johnston versus Johnson. The Almost a family company, yeah. Waters to the outside this time. He's going to look for the lead. I cannot wait for the main event. <laughs> Mike Waters working his way on that outside line, but the one in machine, Nicholas Johnson. We last saw him racing mini doors on the tiny track in the infield. You see it right now. They're passing by it. Always so much fun to see these drivers moving up into divisions like this, Tommy. Cars you couldn't imagine how much different they must handle. No, for sure the weight. And then we get to everything else. The horsepower, the, the size. <laughs> <laughs> but these kids, they've got the talent to do the it. track, I mean everything about this. Well, Nicholas Johnson, he wants to win his first year race he's ever in in the American I side. I tell you what, he's giving the veteran a run for the money right now. Very impressive by the one end machine. He's going to look low. He wants this win, Tommy. And we got to give Kevin Johnson some props. He was battling in the top three. It seems like almost every race towards the end of the season, they've got that 22 machine going. Tara Childress took over the third spot from Mike Waters. Bumpers on the last lap. White flag is in the air. Who's going to win this heat race? I tell you what, Nicholas Johnson's driving like a mini dwarf using those bumpers, but the 22K of Kevin Johnston takes a checkered flag over the rookie, Nicholas Johnson, and the <laughs> 86 going a different route. Getting ready for the first heat race for the late models. One lap to go. The 11 machine of Drake is on the pole for this one. Got a great field of late models from all over the place. Yeah, Tommy, we had a big race going on in Las Vegas just hours away, about four or five hours from here. And uh, a lot of those drivers, they were racing in midweek. They said, hey, you know what? Bakersfield Speedways has opening night. Nobody misses Bakersfield Speedway. No, none. definitely not. Oh boy, we're bumping and banging already. Three wide right on the start. Green flag is in the air. Drake started on the pole. He's going to take the lead early. He's going to have some contact though. Three wide for the lead at a turn number four. One score almost over. I think we have a red forming. Holy cow. You saw on the top right of our screen. And they're still trying to go three wide for the lead right now. 27 machine, Nick Bartels hanging right in there, battling in the third position. I'm still catching my breath after nearly watching one of these late models go up and over. But Drake's gonna hold on to the lead. After a wild first few laps, the lay model's clean, but wild. It got a little bit jumbled up on the start of the race. Then we saw just early on these cars trying to figure out what group to take. You see Childress in the 17 machine overtaking the number three. Bombo in the number three, and then, no, oh, we got a battle for the lead. Battle for second. No, battle for second, my bad. We're looking at a TV. So Drake out to the lead. <laughs> no surprise there. No. Two cars flips up. We're going to get a sheet heading into this next heat race. Wasn't not able to get it beforehand. Yeah, the Wi-Fi. A lot of, like you mentioned, though, a great field of late models in this field right now. We have a lot of drivers that we don't recognize. That's usually a good thing. That's fantastic. Out of turn number four, the left next of Steve Drake with the checker. He raced number two for the late models getting ready to go. As we've mentioned a little bit earlier, our sheet got eaten by our dog. Yeah, damn dog Just did like our, our damn homework. homework. And, but we see Carla Laney starting in that, on the outside. That's the number four of Jerry Stewart. And the one it looked like, that'd be um, 
Mike Corwin. <laughs> How about the 22G machine? In that the is field? Paul Guglielmoni, and to his outside is the 58 machine. 58. Now, see, he's going to be one of the drivers we don't have on our sheet. Starting on the pole, the number 2H, the famous red winning machine. He's been on a tear here at Bakersfield Speedway. Yes, yes, he has. And Bobby Hogue. Carlo Laney in the 96 machine starting to his outside. Tommy, Bobby Hogue absolutely has been dominating the Bud Nationals out here. Everything he entered at the end of last year, he won in. It was just absolutely ridiculous to watch that 2H machine on track. But it was fun to watch. You mentioned that we don't know the name of the 58. We do have a list of the drivers. We just don't have the numbers they go with. The new faces I mean new places. Places. All right, Bobby Ho battling Carlo Laney. Or that could be. Oh. That could be. The 96 of Cody Laney. That could be Cody Laney because I believe, if I remember correctly, he has been driving Mom's car. You see him duking it out for the lead, but I'm, I'm hoping that's Carla. No, I'm pretty sure that's Carla. I mean, we saw her roll over a car in qualifying once. Carla Laney out to the lead. <laughs> <laughs> well, Laney in the lead right now, holding off Bobby Hogue. A really great start for that 96 machine, but Hogue looking for the lead side by side in this second heat race. You don't want to make a bomb in front of the 2H machine, and he's doing plenty of it this lap. Hogue into the lead with bobbles because of Laney's misfortune, and they still he's still having problems in the corner. So many bubbles, lots of bubbles. Well, Bobby Hogue, right now your leader of the 2H, the 96 with Laney in second. Mentioned One. the 58, Tommy. We kind of have narrowed it down to a, a group of drivers that we don't have names for, or numbers for, I should say. Yeah, no, I I would do a process of elimination, but I'm pretty sure the announcers are downstairs busy uh, below us, much like we are trying to be, or attempting to be. That two machine is smoking a little bit. Actually, 96. all the cars are smoking. Yeah. White flag out. Amazing to see the speed difference. Scott Schweitzer. Tommy! Almost contact with the lapper of the 58. I love when Scott puts the American socks before the late models. You see a huge difference in speed. <laughs> Checkered flag. Bobby Ho, the fourth. 2H machine, your winner. Getting ready for heat race number two for the late models. There will be some drivers that we don't have names for, but we'll we'll go we'll work through that. We're one. really representing our product at the highest, aren't we, Tom? Absolutely. Well, hey, that's what happens when you are racing and your car is not prepped like ours is <laughs> so the 81 that's a nice orange machine in front of him the number two trevor glass glazer two is inside the number five that's a good looking car the 42 is also a good looking car and on the outside of the front row that is the 91 of tony Toast. as you can see we've got all the local names down we just don't have the travelers that have come out Starter not liking that start, so we go. No, well, he probably didn't like the starting lineup either. He probably hates us. Come is on, that, guys, is that Mike right. Kirby? Is that a new paint job for Mike Kirby? That is Mike Kirby, the number five. Ha! So 5K Mike Kirby. Getting ready for the restart. Green oh. flag. Although this is the heat race that's had the least amount of late models, it's already been a little bit more aggressive right now. You see on the start, some slide jobs already happening, some door slams out of turn number four. Trevor Glacier duking it out with the 81 machine, toast in the third spot. Not able to get the run out of turn number two. Kirby in the 5K, holding the second position. Some really 42 wins, we'll be able to hear from the announcer who's in that car. That's when we'll uh, go back and announce this, right? Yep. <laughs> You see them still hitting that rut that we've talked a little bit about. Some cars lifting up that left front. Earlier in the first late model race, we almost saw one car go up and over. Yeah. These cars are flying around the third mile play oval. And that bump in turn number three is gonna be something to watch. I'm happy we put a camera over in that corner because who knows what'll happen. Tommy, you talk about how sometimes these dirt tracks, they'll, they'll react to weather that could have happened, you know, 
earlier down the line. Just last week, we had a massive rainstorm hit the Bakersfield area. This track got plenty of moisture. Oh, plenty. And uh, that could be a result. Sometimes a lot of moisture build up into the truck, create some big time ruts. And uh, you see another look at Kirby went airborne into turn number one. But yeah, maintenance, all the track prep and maintenance, a non-stop part of dirt track racing. It's it's the uh, crop without any plan. Well, out of turn number four, that beautiful 42S machine is looking really good, Tommy. That is a contender for the win tonight. Hobby stock heat race number one for the night. The first heat race for the season, Jeffrey. These hobby stocks. Always something to watch. Yeah, we joked about the American stocks having the most cleanest bodies that you'll see. These hobby stocks are no exception to that rule. These six machines right now are probably going to be a perfect example of what to watch out for. Perry Alderman starting on the pole in the 52 machine. To his south side, the number 84, Chris Settlemeyer. And then right behind him, oh, it's tight. It's slipping and sliding the number 21 machine. Kyle Wood. Yep, and how about the 72, I was just about to say. Tyler Irwin. Dude, Tyler Irwin, graduate from the American Stocks. We're raising for the lead right now. How about Settlemeyer moving on up? Yeah, he's getting a workout right now for this spot. Not a bad way to start. Not a bad way to start your hobby stock racing. Oh, uh, this could be a bad way to end it, though. I feel like our camera is trying to focus on ice. <laughs> So Kyle Wood out to the early lead. You see Lord Wren Jr. in the 87. Oh! Good, making some contact with Alderman. They made it out of that one. How about Ralph Cook? That yep. driver, every year I think he said he's going to retire. He's like, no, no, this is the actual one. We were at the banquet. And really he, enjoyed seeing him. He truly drivers. did say that at the banquet that this year was the final year champion or totaled out race car. Don't matter. He said the second the checker flag flies at the end of the season, he will have a for sale sign on that car. We'll see about that, won't we? I'm convinced he's going to race till he's 103. I'll believe it when I see it. Well, Kyle Wood right now obviously had a bit of bad luck last year as far as he always being in contention, but not really ever really getting that grab that he needed. But this is the way to start off your year, Tom, at the 21 machine, looking to win his first heat race of the year, the first of the hobby stocks. And there we go. That focus is still working on our camera. Wood going to cross the line with just a couple laps to go. See, we're really getting the uh, zoom feature down on these cameras this yeah, year. Yeah, and some of uh, the <laughs> little... Uh, mini dwarf track we're going to see this coming weekend yeah that's what this is this is all just kind of a preview for the night coming up like we mentioned folks thank you for joining us here in the heat race coming up this year low budget tv keep an eye on our facebook page low budget tv on facebook lb tv productions also our youtube page the reason is because as kyle would cross the line and takes the checker you're going to be seeing some live races for from us with Race Speed X. Yeah, it's going to be a fun year, Jeffrey, and I can't wait to bring it all across the country with us, all the action that everybody misses at Bakersfield Speedway on a weekly basis. Heat race number two for the Hobby Sox. A couple new-looking cars in this one, and a couple old faces as well. Starting in the back, the number 18 machine of Kevin Collier. And then starting on the front row, how about we shift a little bit back up there, the 37 machine of Aaron Stewart. But Tommy, we mentioned some new looking cars. How about the one that's starting on the pole? Jake Jones in number 81X. Not a new name, but a Not new, a new looking car. New colors and the 33. The 33, how about some new colors for that car? Robert Swearingen. I, would, I never would have recognized that thing's like an Xfinity car. White and green machine. Aaron Stewart out to an early lead. Jones in the second spot. Swearingen in third. And the 46 machine right now holding on. Mark Torres. Trying to hold off Collier. Mark Torres in the 46. So, so I, that's what I love about opening night, Jeffrey. One of my favorite things about opening night. New paint jobs. New paint schemes, new bodies, new cars sometimes. But yeah. A lot of new things going into the 2015 season here at Bakersfield Speedway. Aaron Stewart 
Your leader with Jones in the second spot. Stewart holding on to this lead over a pretty stacked field, Tommy. Talk about swearing him with his new paint job. How about Collier? He was the racer of the year. Ty Bakersfield's got a big time award, a very on, a very special, and he was very honored to win that award. It was cool for us to be at the banquet. Yeah, uh, very cool for the Schweitzer family to invite us out to their a little get together. Yeah, and of course, a big thank you goes out to the Schweitzer family. They put in so much work for this Bakersfield Speedway. It really couldn't happen without them. Mm -hmm. And everybody involved here at the track, uh, a lot of old-time sponsors that have always been a part of the Speedway. <laughs> Jones, here comes Collier, catching a piece of that rough stuff. And I just, I, this track is like second home to us. Are you talking, when you said rough stuff, were you talking about the uh, the dirt out of the groove or Kevin Collier's right rear? No, <laughs> the dirt out of the groove. Okay. That stuff, the stuff that just happened there, that's hobby stock racing. Oh, Jones had got a little squirrely on the exit of turn four, held on to it. Stewart holds on to the lead with just a handful of laps to go. If you have a small hand. Some of you can even count it on one hand. Now you can even count it on one finger. Aaron Stewart hey, holds the lead. Swearing at Tommy. Talk about another driver that's looking to turn around his luck this year. And by, I'm not saying he's had bad luck this year, but I don't think 2014 was the year he won. Aaron Stewart across the line, checkered flag. He race number three for the H&S Body Works Hobby Stocks. Lawler will start on the pole to his outside, the double zero of Doc Stater inside row number two. How about we show the 59 Mike Hill Jr.? What? Look at that. <laughs> was, man, some of these cars are unrecognizable. How about that and paint scheme? It. That's a beautiful car for Mike Hill. 15 machine That's starting Chris on the inside. Whitford. Whitford. And, and then on the outside of row number two, we the number 50 machine. Green. The number 50 machine, Noah Allen. Green flag is in the air. Lawler leads us into turn number one. Doc Stater with a move to the inside. These are two drivers that are probably seen quite a bit of each other yes. at a different track. Yeah, absolutely. And then we got some three red racing out of turn number two. Look at Hill to the outside. He's going where others aren't. Moves into the second spot. Well, you have to realize all these drivers that are driving right now are driving these things like hobby stocks. He's, Mike Hill's probably still driving it like an American stock, and it's sticking a lot better than he ever expected. Working. We saw Hill uh, round out the season last year in racing some hobby stock races. But I tell you what, it looks like he's up the, uh, the paint job game. The bodywork game, and he's getting this car figured out in the second spot. Great battle for third. Three cars in the mix. Oh, boy, almost. Yeah, we're rubbing. Like you said, hobby stock racing. This is what it's all about. Third mile. Got to love these smaller dirt tracks, Tommy. I love it. I'm so happy to be back here. Oh, big time. Matt Downtater in the third spot. Trying to hold off Allen and Whitford. And Whitford in the 15 will go to the inside. Oh, uh, this could be big. He might take two spots and made uh, it. half a lap, and he does. Made it work. I thought I thought we were going to turn somebody into turn number three. Yeah, Doc Stater, looks like that double zero car is not working. I think, Tommy, if I'm correct, we've made it this far into the heat races without a single caution except for a redo on a restart. Very true. We're, we're hitting home runs here tonight. Lawler's hitting a home run right now in this heat race. That number six machine, you know what it is, Tommy? I think they changed up. Nope, nope, they still got the pink wheels on there. Of course. And we talked to Robert Lawler a bit last year. He's excited for this coming year. He feels like he's going to go after it. Well, Mike Hill's also one driver going after it. Lawler also has a uh, American flat, and that could be down for us. So the tech official might have to take a look at that American flat. You know, I didn't even think about that. See, like if it was if it was like a checkered flag or a flag with like a smiley face on it, it'd be less down for us than the American flag. The American flag has that power. Mike Hill Jr. He's moved his way up to Lawler, but out of turn number four, the six X of Robert Lawler will take checkered flag. And this heat race, 
He raced number one for the Sport Mods. Jeffrey, so glad to see these cars back on the track. Tommy, biggest field of the night, and it's no surprise, this is the fastest growing division on the West Coast dirt track racing, Sport Mods. Who do we got? We got Kevin Johnson starting on point next to the 16, the outlaw, Rick Childress Jr. And row number two, the 68J machine. How about Simpkins moving into yeah, this division? Yeah, the kid Simpkins. And speaking of moving into this division, the number seven of Gary Spiller Jr. Graduate from the mini stocks. You see Spain Howard with Schweitzer. We go green. Jason Nation in the number 83 machine and rounding out the field. Trying to get a number on that car. New to our eyes, that's for sure. Battle for the lead, it is Childress with lap number one. Battle is for third between Spain, Howard, and Simpkins. That'll be the 86 of Danny Stevens. And they're back of the pack, number 68 machine. And moving his way up, of course. He's from Porterville too, so. Woo, boy, I'm watching these cars going into turn number one, Tommy. Left fronts are in the air. These cars hooked up on this heavy track. Battle for the lead. Johnson to the inside of Children. Door to door into turn number one. Door to door out of turn number two. Children's up into that rough stuff just a little bit. Johnson with a run down the inside. It is slide job in the turn three and four. And here comes Simpkins. So Billy the Kid Simpkins in the 68J. Oh boy, the outlaw went a little too wide. And he is a goner in this heat race. But he does get to battle Jason Nation. Woo! Almost had to battle his right front. Now Tommy looking at car counts and everything, doesn't look like we're gonna have any of these drivers have to deal with B-Mains tonight. Unless a miracle happens and uh, Chet Reeves shows up with some sport mods, I think we're good for the night. You're gonna see lap traffic already. Gary Spiller in the number seven, just getting his feet wet in these modifieds. He's got double the horsepower. This is the race. <laughs> I thought you meant than everyone else, but this is the race to do this. Yeah. You know, if, if, if Spiller, he's learning, he's getting a feel for the car a little bit more, a little bit more. You know, save the car in the heat race. Don't push it too hard and hurt it. Battle for the lead. Look at Simpkins to the inside. With a run to the inside, who's it gonna be out of turn number four to collect heat race number one win? Kevin Johnson in the number 20. Spain Howard was right there as well. Both drivers making a huge gain on Johnson. We're Sport Mods. Sport mods. He raced number two for the Sport Mods. We got the 89M Michael Black and the 97 of Gary Dunn starting on the front row. Jeffrey inside row number one. Two. I believe we got the 51 machine of Cruz Griffith and the 33 of Kel Kanke. New, new uh, paint scheme there a little bit. The 09 Brylin Holder and to his inside is the number 22C Michael Johnson. And I'm trying to get a number. The 22 machine top. 22C. No, no, no. The back car. Is it the straight up 22? 22B. 22B. Let's go to my sheet. Green flag is in the air. It'll be done now on the turn number two with the early lead. Great battle back here. Brylin Holder, Michael Johnson. A little bit of contact. We keep it going. Michael Black on the 89M in the second spot. Battle for third. Griffith in the 33 of Kanky. Kanky getting a brand new car. Due to the fact that the last time we saw him, he nosed over it straight into the uh, track exit wall. Yeah, that Not, was... He wasn't planning on doing it. It just happened that way. That was a tough hit for that driver. You know, mentioning the Kankies. Saw MK Kanky racing last week in a throwback scheme. That was fun to see. Kel Kanky in his throwback scheme as well. Okay, maybe he's always raced that color number. Yeah, but maybe the number style is back to the legend days. <laughs> maybe. Oh, boy. Griffin spins it out in turn number two. He I believe that's the first incident of heat racing. Will it be the first yellow? Nope. nope. Griffin got it running. He kept the motor running. When we stay green, I tell you what. 
There is your leader, Gary Dutton, out of turn number four. Big gap over the second spot, Michael Black. Nice early run for Black, sitting up in the second position in the heat race, holding on to his front row start. White flag for Dutton, the 97 machine. You know, one thing I've seen a lot so far, Tommy, in these sport mod races, a lot of drivers we've seen racing in the uh, street stock division making it up here. Very true. Checkered flag for the 97 of Gary Duck. Here we go on track, the number nine, starting on point, the number nine J machine. That is driven by, let me get my sheet out. The 9J of Jordan Hager. Look at that new scheme. Threw me off. <laughs> and we go green. Green flag is out. Brenda Kirby in the 5K. And oh, you saw some contact there. No, I don't think we're done with the contact. No, three wide right here in the 17. You got the Dotsons duking it out. Wayne and Ethan. And Tina Pound in the number 32. That name might ring a bell. And it sounds like a bit of a different last name. Congratulations oh to Brad. Oh boy, congratulations. That Brad and Tina Pounds over the off season. And how about your driver who started mid-pack and drove to the front while Wayne Dotson. The number 74. Well, Brian Terry is 17, gonna follow up through. Running out the field in this one is the number four, Garrett Gernigan. Yeah, a lot of uh, new kind of looking cars, maybe same scheme going, but new colors, new things shifted and whatnot. New names, Tina new names, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they had oh. golf cart racing. And around with Jernigan, Kirby getting collected, and we might have our first caution. Nope. Not yet, at least. Racing continues on. So does Jernigan. Pounds to the outside. That's one thing I'm going to have to get used to, is yeah. using the last name and realize I'm not <laughs> talking about Brad. <laughs> Both drivers off and running up front, so it's going to get a little jumbly there. Well, I hope you call Brad Tina one night. That'll be great. No, I doubt I won't do that. <laughs> White flag is out for Wayne Dodson. He's in turns number one and two. Good battle back here, but we're going to take a look at your winner, Wayne Dodson, out of turn number four. Dragon flag, and look at this battle in three and four. I'm looking at it, Tommy. It's an incredible, there it is. Three wide, cross line. And it's Ethan Dodson holding on. And there's the line. Getting ready for the heat race for the mini stocks. Not the best car count, but you don't need a great car count to have a good show. We've seen it plenty of times. Starting on the pole, the number 357. That is Townsend. And to his outside, uh, that is Zach Townsend in the 357. To his outside, the 44 Double D Mike Conway. Lonnie Spiller, brand new driver to the mini stock, starting inside row number two. Kyra Holder to the outside, the number 13 machine. And the 5K Larry Kazar rounding out the field. Mini stocks at the ready. A bit of a spread out start. We go green. Someone's having a bit of an issue. I believe it's Holder. That car sounds like it's barely running. Conway out to a big lead. And Townsend, Zach Townsend will go into the second spot. Spiller making her way up, catching up to Townsend. So battle for the second spot, brewing up. Spiller now looking to the inside. Lonnie Spiller with a move down low on Zach Townsend. And they race it out, keep it clean, and Spiller moves on into the second spot. We're seeing already lap traffic for your leader, Conway. Yeah, 13. the 13 machine of Kyra Holder. 
She was an entertaining one at the banquet. She was, and uh, it's not helping right now. That 13 machine, you can hear it when it went down the front straightaway. It sounds like it is being eaten alive. Conway, you see the 44 double D. We're going to take a listen. Well, Conway's got a strong winning car. Let's take a listen to Kyle Holder when she drives by. Not sure if it's a helicopter or a mini stock. I'm not sure if it's idling or on the gas. That's right. Larry Gazar looks like that 5K not running like he'd like it to. He's no, we've seen uh, we've seen Larry get on up there. His cars have been good. Yeah. New color, new number. So maybe an all new outlook on life. Very true. Well, the number didn't help him in that corner because he is not able to get the car through the corner like he'd like. Conway, though, looking strong. Kyra Holder, another lap down. So she's got her foot to the wood, and the car's not going anywhere. Lonnie Spiller going by Holder. <laughs> you can see a little bit of a speed difference. Yeah. Well, Conway, Tommy, that car obviously on rails tonight. You know, talk about a driver who's going to be looking at a championship run this year in the mini stocks. Yeah. Conway already kind of showing his hand early. He's one to look out for through turn number three and four. The 44 double D, Mike Conway, checkered flag, and this heat race at Bakersfield Speedway. Heat race number two getting ready to go. Five more mini stocks in this field. Saw the first group just finish their race with Conway having a fantastic run. Roy Maynard Jr., the number 70 machine. He'll be starting on the pole with the 123 to the outside. Misty Warren, new name and number to this mini stock field at Bakersfield Speedway. And that is the 123. Steve Fork in a brand new looking car. I'm pretty sure it's the same one, but man, a paint job and numbers do work. Then the 2014 champion in the mini stocks, Hollywood Tina Bell, starting on the outside of row two. And the 78 rounding out the field. Martin Truex Jr. in the number 78 furniture row race. Some contact early. The 123 did not get going on that start. I'm kidding. That's Sherry Duncan. Oh. Number 78. Well, Tommy, these three cars, where Conway ran away with it in the last year race, I think we're about to see a really good race for the lead with between Maynard, Rourke, and Bell. We know what Bell can do in many stocks. Maynard and Rourke have had some great racing, Asha. but the 123 of Misty Warren going to bring out the Asha. first caution. <laughs> Getting ready for the restart to this mini stock heat race number two. Extravagant. Takes it green, and look at Rourke making a move to the inside, wasting no time. Rourke, we saw leading multiple laps near the end of the 2014 season, Tommy. We started off by kind of laughing at his duct tape numbers because we loved him. But that 77 car looking good. Oh, Tina Bell's trying to take off his new number. That's right. She wants it to be 770. <laughs> I, that was a wheel shot for Bell in, that, in these cars could be detrimental. Last year we saw the 70 machine of Roy Manor Jr. get upside down. Well, he's leading right side up. And Tommy, this is exactly, I think, what we expected in this heat race. The top three are still under a blanket for the lead. Bell to the inside. She's looking for another championship, looking to start things off right in 2015. That 29 machine slides up in front of Rourke. Her next sight is the 70s rear bumper. Maynard looking in his rear view mirror, seeing defending champion the 29, Tina Bell, all over. And to the inside under turn number three. That car is hooked up, that 29 car, with a great exit in turn two, set up this run and lug into the inside. Maynard almost catches the wall into turn number four. And Bell takes the lead. One bobble, that's all it takes to lose a spot to a champion. Maynard likely going to be doing some double duty this season with some mod light racing on his schedule. But Bell, she's going for a championship. She wants to win it all again. We could see a battle for the second spot brewing up, and it is in the turn number one. Rourke with Whoa, the boy! And a bit of a slide job in turn two. So Maynard having to go back to the third spot. And the 78 of Duncan. 
going one lap down in the seat race. Tina Bell takes a white flag. You know, I heard rumor that Richard Childress and Hendrick both gave Tina Bell a call earlier yeah. during this offseason, seeing if she'd come run the cup car. She's like, no, man, I take this stuff seriously. That's right. Yep. Your he race winner, Tina Bell, in the 29. 